page, show me here. I'm going to be showing you how to create a seamless pattern. It's awesome when you're working with like textiles or fabrics or you like doing print design and you really need like a correct pattern that's going to be symmetrical and it's going to be perfectly on point. Um, this is a really good way on how to do that. So um, usually you can go to object and go pattern and make pattern. You can do it that way, but this is another um, quicker way and better way that I like to use sometimes to create a seamless pattern. So you can see I've just used these elements and you can see how I've got these boxes here. And if I just drag this across, that you can see it's seamless. So it transitions 100%. You know, there's no improper line. You can see I can zoom in and it's directly on the shape that we need. So in order to do this, what we're going to do, we're going to create a box. So I'm going to press M for the rectangle tool. And just click on the artboard. And I'm just going to make this even. So make sure it's even. doesn't matter what point it is. I'm just going to use 400 by 400 and just press OK. So... I'm going to get rid of that and press shift X and turn it into a stroke or you can just drag it on the left here and drag it like this if you want. So we've got our stroke key. Um, I'm just going to leave it black for now and just to make sure that we can see it and use it as a sort of like a guide. So we've got our stroke and what we're going to do, we're going to drag some of these elements into here. So I'm going to drag this reef into the corner and I want to make sure that it's perfectly aligned the center with that corner. So you can see I'm using smart guides, go to view, and turn on Smart Guides by Control U or Command U. So you want to make sure that whenever something overlaps over this um, box, we want to make sure it does the same for our vertical side and the horizontal side. So I'm going to select this, go Object, Transform, click Move. And what we're going to do now, I'm going to get a box. And because our box is 400 by 400, we can use that as a guide and I can know where to go. So I'm going to make this 0 and then 400. And you can see it's going to shift it to the other side. Make sure it's preview is ticked on and we just want to click copy. So now it's directly copied it across on this center point in the corner and we know that this is equally um, that side. So we can also do the same for this side. Select them both, go object and then we want to go transform, move and do the same but we're going to do it vertically this time. 400 and it's going to shift those, these two to the other side. So go copy. And now we have these reefs here, which is pretty cool. And now I'm just going to drag some of these elements in the middle. Uh, maybe you want this flower in here, like this. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Just drag stuff in. I'm just holding Alt and just, you know, copy pasting it. And I'm going to create some awesome patterns. So things that are within the box, it's okay. You can just place them wherever because um, it's still going to come out okay. But things that are outside, we want to make sure that you use it just like that. So we've got our pattern here now. And what we're going to do, we're going to get rid of the choke. So select this box. And then I'll press forward slash to get rid of it. Or just press the left bottom hand corner. Click this button here, which gets rid of the choke. And what we're going to do, you can see if I go to outline mode, you'll see we've got our box and we've got all our elements. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select all of this. And what we're going to do, we're going to drag it into the swatches panel. Make sure you drag it to the top here so it recognizes it as a pattern. So now if I go and make a box and I select this pattern, you can see now we have this pattern. So it's seamless. It's awesome. So we got this. We can scale it. You know, we can move, we can move it across and it's going to work so yeah that's how you pretty much make a seamless pattern guys and i hope you guys enjoyed this true leave a comment below if you thought this was helpful um, don't forget to subscribe for more content every week 